Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Hasta! Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Jack? I found a radio. You okay? I'm still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Contact! Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother... You wanna talk this out? Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Hey, Jack. The husky lady on Monarch Radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared up soldiers I mentioned who do the teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently, they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> Regarding some kind of chronon particle harvesting operation. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm looking into it. Keep you posted.
Joyce just took out Gatehouse One and you still don't have eyes on him? What, what do they pay you for over there, huh? Just tell me where he is. Hey, I just turned off security. Uh oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Move in. On our way. Yeah. I did some digging. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Clear exit down here. May have to head upward. There's got to be something I can use to get up there. resident chronon scientist. Well, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did.
Not your average elevator. Jack, I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight. Tonight? After everything has happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech, and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big-shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. <clears throat> okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Okay. Okay, looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation.
<sighs> nice driving, guys. Technology for his men to move through stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh shit. And yet he never tried to stop it. That was close. Will never told you what he did in that workshop? At Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. What the hell? What is this? What is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? I specifically requested copper clad niobium. Well. No words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant Need my extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do don't this. Do this. Countermeasure. I hope I to hope God, God this works. This works. Will. It's gone. Oh. Come with me. We can survive this. You're the only other one who's seen what I've don't seen. Do it, don't. Give me the device. What if you're wrong? I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack.
It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There's something wrong with Paul. Oh, God. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Sir. Paul. Stop! Come back, God damn it! Don't.
stutters were getting bad. Me shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. That's gonna hurt. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking that. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people?
What led you to the swimming hall? Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that could stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, but I know Mater doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck, too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. This is weird. Huh. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but I mean, it's a long shot. license plate of the cab parked over there? It belongs to somebody named Nick Marsters. Nick Marsters? That's the name of one of the witnesses we picked up from the university. Yeah, I recognized his picture. I saw him. Hey! I think I found a way in. Get here. Do you think Monarch took it? It's not possible. I've been monitoring Monarch activities this whole time. I honestly don't know. Yes, Amy? What is it? There were others taken from the university. Friends of mine. What happened to them? Should be released by now. Damn it. Monarch the stutters aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? $12,000 moving bill. You must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is you owned this Jones place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me? Mouse, Schrodinger, in order... He's gone. Go? No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Right. Hello, Riverport. Teresa said back here, filling in for Bobby Rabbit. About to brighten your day with some good news. The victim was injured in the past half of the University of Medical Center in downtown Riverport. I'm sure they are thankful for all your goodness. Any luck in there? Working on it. Oh. 
All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um... Explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. Okay, core controls. Where are they? The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle, I think. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. 
hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we said at first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control roof. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. I can't insert the date yet. This... Here goes nothing. What was that? It's fine. actually worked. Okay, we activate the corridor next. Okay, there is no way that thing should be exposed like that. still works. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. <sighs> Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? That sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. 
If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Up into the past, I tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows, then get rid of him. You're all heart money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack, but that's far away in the past now. And I have a speech to prepare for. seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it, all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. <laughs> 